Hi, we are here again with more examples for equations of lines in R2. Uh, there are four parts. Each part asks for an equation in different form uh, for a given line, line with some information. So let's just start with the first one. We are looking for par point parallel form. Right away over there, I can say that, well, I'm looking for a point then, and I'm looking for a parallel vector. Let's see what kind of information is given. The, the, the line is through the point, so that's P, and it is parallel to I minus 3J. Well, that's nice. That means that we have 1 and negative 3. When we are in R2, we change IJ chord form into a vector with two coordinates, with two components. Well, then we have P and we have V. So then this is uh, the form of point parallel P plus TV. And in this case, it means that we have negative 3, negative 4 plus T times 1 and negative that's the first part. The second part asks for point normal form. Means what? Means we are looking for a point and we are looking for a normal vector. Yes. Let's see which one is given. The point. Yes, it is given. Two, three. But instead of normal vector, remember normal vector is perpendicular to the line. But here, what is given is parallel vector. In other words, is if we follow the notation we always use, this is V, not N. But we know that anything which is perpendicular or orthogonal to V can be used as, as normal vector. So normal vector... Vector n can be any vector orthogonal to v. Well, we have a good form of that because when you have a vector in R2, by switching the coordinates, and multiplying one of the coordinates, the components, by negative one, you find a new vector which is orthogonal to the given vector. So here, then 1, 2 is a vector which is perpendicular to, uh, orthogonal to the uh, vector 2, 1. And we can take it as our normal vector again by switching the coordinates and multiplying one of the coordinates components by negative one we get a vector in r2 we get a vector which is orthogonal to the original vector and such a vector can be used in this case as a normal vector so then when we have those ones we know that we can uh, Right now, the equation n dot x minus p is zero. That means that one two dot x y minus two three is zero. Well, that's the second one. Okay, for the third part, you're looking for parametric form. You have to know these these. Requirement for parametric form, we need a point and we need a vector, parallel vector. Here, the point is okay, nice, it is given. But instead of a parallel vector, a perpendicular vector is given. Well, again, if I follow the notation always used, the perpendicular vector we denote as uh, we denote it by negative 3 and 5. Now, this is as we did previous in the previous part, always from going uh, a vector to a vector which is 
orthogonal to that in R2, this is what you need to do. You switch, you switch the components and multiply one of them by negative sign. That in this case is a, a vector which is parallel to line. So let me just write this down. Uh, since negative m minus negative 5 is 5, negative 3 is a vector orthogonal to negative 3, 5. Hence, it will be uh, will be parallel to the line and that means that we can take that as our v v is 5 and negative 3 then well parametric equations are x y dependence on t you can put or not then point is p1 plus t v1 P2 plus T V2. If I simplify, I get X equal to 5T and Y equals to negative 3T plus 2. That is the parametric or a parametric equation for the, the line in part 3. How about the last part? Okay, we are looking for a standard form. So when you see standard form, that means that you need a point, you need a normal vector. But what is given about this line? This line, for this line, point parallel form is given. Point parallel form given means that right away we have a point three negative 5 remember p plus tv and we have a parallel vector with the arguments you just saw me doing in parts 3 and 4 uh, 2 and 3 you can right away see that from this i can generate a normal vector by switching the components and multiplying one of the components by negative sign. Well, let me tell you this one also. Some people can use this one as normal vector. The second component, after switching, you multiply the second component by negative sign. Uh, that will give you another equation, but those equations, both of them will give you the same line. Okay, so then I have N. I have P, then the equation, the standard form, always starts from this point. We plug in everything here. 3, 1, dot, x, y is going to be equal to 3, 1, dot, 3, and negative 5. This 3x plus y equals to 9 minus 5. That means that 3x plus y equals to 4. That's the standard form. Now you have to know, as you saw in these examples, uh, what kind of information you need for each one of the forms of the line, equation for the line in R2, and then how you can draw those equations using the given information in the problem.